Good morning, you guys. This video is gonna be a little bit different. So I'm going to show you guys, I, um, as you guys saw, I have some new branding. I've got like a new logo, a new intro. Tell me tell me what you guys think. Um, instead of it being like a like dedicated intro, I just kind of had it like, it's just kind of like over, um, like whatever B-roll or whatever. Um, and I like totally rebranded all of my stuff, my channel art, and I'm really liking the way that it's looking so far. But anyways, okay. Um, I have a haul for you guys today, and in that haul, it's just a Target haul, but I also have a mask haul that I wanna do, which is super weird, but I got the cutest mask. So today's video is literally all about like the shopping things that I have done in the past, like uh, the past like week. I have done so much shopping. So I'm just gonna give you guys a bunch of really fun um, shopping ideas for homeschooling and back to school because I got some really, really cute things for Riker. I'm just starting kind of my fall clothing haul. Um, and I got myself some masks and we refilled on groceries. So just a few things that I've gotten over the last few days and that footage ended up being like 10 minutes long so I'm gonna have to break it out by itself. So that's why today's video is basically just like a shopping haul video. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I will check in with you guys after the haul. <laughs> Hi you guys, okay I wanted to do a really quick haul. I feel like I'm always wearing this shirt when I'm doing hauls but I wanna do a really quick haul with you guys. I went to Target for the very first time in like months um, it like physically going into the store and I stocked up on so many things. Um, I'm going to say first that Mike and I, so we had actually enrolled Kaya in a preschool for this fall. Um, she has like an in-home preschool program right now and we love our daycare provider, but we had originally, um, like enrolled her in the pre-K at the school here in like in our local area. And then we got notification that we wouldn't be doing that this fall. So I picked up some things for homeschool for Kaya and I am going to start like dabbling with possibly like keeping her home a couple times a week from daycare and doing homeschool because um, I don't want to tire her out right and like do it like at night after daycare. Um, possibly dabbling with the idea of keeping the kids home this fall. I'm not like both of them home this fall. I'm not entirely sure because right now with everything going on, like there's no right answer, right? So anyways, I got lots of stuff for homeschooling. Let's hop on into the Target haul today because guys, we've got homeschooling, we got groceries, and we've got some kids clothes in here as well. All right, first things first. I, um, oh, that's not part of the groceries. I ended up getting um, groceries. My sister is staying with me this week, as you guys can see in the background. She is staying with me for the week, um, and my mom was here last week, and I just needed to refill on a couple of things. Um, my sister and I tend to eat a lot healthier than my mom, which, mom, if you're watching, I love you. <laughs> but my sister and I tend to eat a little bit more crunchy than they do over at their house. So I refilled on some fun things. So you guys know that I'm, for the most part, anti-inflammatory, like gluten-free. Um, I try to stay away from like processed foods and just like nasty, like gunk, right? For example, today for lunch, I got pho, and pho has gluten-free noodles in it. It's so good. You can like spice up with some sriracha, super bomb. But um, some of my go-to items for like gluten-free snacks are tortilla chips, right? I get tortilla chips every single grocery haul. You guys see that? And then um, this time for like dips, because my sister and I, we can ham chips and dip in like one sitting. So. I always make sure that I stock up on like dips and things like that when she's here, but I got some plant-based uh, queso. I also got some guac and I got some pico. Um, I didn't get regular salsa because I thought it would be nice to have pico in the house for some eggs and stuff this week. I do have the stuff to make salsa myself. As you guys know, I make my own salsa. So I have that in the house already. I got some, I just got like a refill of this vanilla Greek yogurt. This is so good. Um, the light, let's see, the light and fit has only 90 calories. 
but it still has eight grams of sugar, but that is in a three quarter cup. And usually when I'm having, when I'm having yogurt, I have half of that. So like about four grams of sugar. Um, it says added three grams of sugar. So five of that is natural, only three of that is added. So if I had half of that serving and it will only be like one and a half grams of added sugar, pretty good. And Riker and Kaya love it as well. We'll do like little parfaits all the time um, when we do our picnics outside and things like that. Super yummy snack. Oh shoot, I forgot I was going to get, um, I was gonna pick up some more applesauce packets and I totally forgot, but anyway, I also got some Baby Bill cheese because this is really good with wheat thins and if you are on Weight Watchers like I am because I combine my anti-inflammatory diet with um, Weight Watchers just to kind of keep track of my food, like my points, my calories if you will. Um, like one of these is like one point along with like the wheat thins. It's such a low point snack and it's super filling. Um, also filled up her restocked on my laughing cow cheese wedges i absolutely love these and this is another really low point um weight watchers snack i also got some um dry italian salami to combine with like crackers so like like cheese and like crackers and kind of like a little charcuterie tray going on hopefully one of these days um also got um some gluten-free um chicken breast tenders just for like a quick lunch while my sister is here not the super healthiest but you can toss it on top of a salad it's gluten-free that's all i ask you gotta be gluten-free right anywho okay so we also got um some southwest style tortilla strips for a salad topper and crispy onion strings and it has garlic and black pepper in there Ooh, yum and um, I got some sugar-free Jello because the Jello I have in the fridge is the snack pack brand. And sorry guys, if you like the snack pack Jello, but I am not a fan. The texture is so gross. Um, and then I also got jalapeno and cheddar cheese smoked chicken sausage. My sister picked this one out. I thought it looked so yummy. So we'll probably have that for lunch. And then of course, more oat milk. And I think that's it for food. Um, but got lots of like really healthy, um, quick options here. So if you guys are like, oh, I don't eat healthy, I can't do the anti-inflammatory, I can't do Weight Watchers, just, I just don't have time, I don't have... There you go. Quick and easy like snacks and foods and you're still on track with your Weight Watchers. So highly recommend that you try out some of those food items because they're so good. Um, oh, I forgot, my sister got some Snack on the run. These are tuna salad kits with crackers. That's my sister's favorite. She said I have to try them. So I got three of those. All right. And oops, I almost forgot. This is wow. This is um, one of my go to's lately gluten free tortillas. I actually really like the texture of these tortillas. And if you just like fry them ever so slightly on the pan, even better. They're so good. All right. Hopping into the rest of the haul. There was not a sale on the kids' clothes there, but I love, um, they, what are they, like jogger style? Um, I don't even know what they're called. Like, I don't know. I don't know. That's, I'm very confused. But it's like, these are stretchy, but they're the skinny style, right? And like, I got one without the um, cuffed bottoms and one with. I got them in a 2T because he's starting to outgrow his 18 month stuff. Um, he's definitely outgrown his 12 month stuff and he still has a few 12 month things. But these are the skinny, flexible drawstring reinforced knee. I'll have these linked down below for you guys for sure. As much as I can possibly link below, I will. Um, so check out that description box for the items that I'm mentioning today. But I have two of these. I got it in like a like a dark rust, like a burgundy-ish type of color, and then also in a tan color. Um, I got him a couple of pairs of shorts for the rest of the summer because he only has a few pairs of shorts, and it's just, I have to rewash his clothes so many times because he only has like three pairs. So um, I picked him up another little pair. It's the same material as these like khaki joggers, um, but these were only $6, and I did get these in an 18 month because I wasn't sure, um, I wasn't sure about the 2T, but I grabbed one 2T thinking that he would possibly still fit in it next summer, 
but they have drawstrings on them so I can tie them nice and tight if they're too big. But again, these were $6, these were $6, such a good deal. Um, and then I always get questions on where I get Riker's little band tees because like that's mostly what he wears are just like band tees. And I get them from H&M and I get them from Target. And I know that Riker already has a Red Hot Chili Peppers shirt from H&M, but this color I thought was so cute. So I got him this and I get him um, a 2T and he is in like an 18 month to 2T right now, but I got him a 2T. Um, and these were $8.99 each. And I got an ECDC one for $8.99. He also has Metallica and he has, what was he wearing an ACDC? No, it was a Rolling Stones today. Um, he's got quite a few band tees and I just, they're so cute and handsome. And I, there's like a Batman one that I've been keeping my eyes out for. I love it, like the kind of like faded look. Anyways, I couldn't find that at Target today, so I was kind of bummed, but. Oh, well, okay, so the homeschool stuff, like I said, I'm basing it off of a curriculum that I've already looked up. Um, I'll have that link down below for you guys. It is on Amazon. So I went a little crazy. I went and I hit up the value section spot and I also hit up the, um, like the back to school section in Target. First thing I got was this black, like, separate it's like what are they called the it's called a supply caddy organizer whatever you want to call it um i got this so that i could put all of her items that i got today like all of her utensils and things like that she could put directly into this caddy and then they wouldn't get lost we will be um making kaya a little homeschool table as well that's going to match our dining table that will go kind of like kitty corner like right in the corner of the dining room so that she has somewhere to do her own stuff um anyway so i got this in the value section for three dollars oh mama also scored herself a little koozie this is su super cute but i don't have anything for like my hard seltzers that i drink all the time so mama needed a little koozie um all right so some of the things that i got to go inside of here i got um let's see i got a big thing of crayons i got a big thing of colored pencils i wasn't going to do the big thing of crayons and then i wasn't going to do the big thing of colored pencils but somehow i managed to get the big thing of both of them i was like big thing of one or the other got both um and then i got these dry erase markers for something i'll show you in just a second these are for kaya but they're also for us we didn't we don't have any pencils in the house right now so i got a big thing of mechanical pencils um i got some school glue Kaya has a huge container of construction paper up here in our cupboard. Um, so I figured it was probably time for her to have her own um, scissors as well. And then this glue so that we can be, so we can do like some projects and just some like really fun homeschool stuff. But um, anyway, so I got her her own scissors. I will probably regret that later. <laughs> and then I also got some washable paint brush pens. So you put the paint inside of the brush and I have a ton of washable Crayola paint up in the cupboards as well, but I always struggle with like, um, like the utensils, right? Like for example, here's one right here. The kids just take them and they chew on them. So I was hoping if I can keep these in here for her at all times that she would be less likely to like chew on them. Or I, I don't know. Anyway got that i also picked up some um watercolor paints because those are always fun a ruler and some post-it notes just for me to make notes on stuff um picked up a couple of hand sanitizers now this is actually just for me um to keep in my backpack when we are going to and from places i picked up um, these were in the value section and I picked up three of them. I have a numbers preschool like flash card. These are all ages four and up, so perfect for her. Um, I got some phonics ones and then I got some addition ones. And these have like a little pull to reveal answer tab on them. I thought that that was such a good idea. Um, but I have these to practice. Um, we're gonna do three subjects. Um, I'm not sure about history yet. We'll see. I might do like a history. I might rotate history and science. You guys know that I love to do science projects projects with Kaya, um, but I might like rotate the science and the history. I've got like, for example, 
Um, so my curriculum right now um, is based mostly off of that um, book that I have linked down below, but I will be focusing on like English and like alphabet and letters and learning how to write her letters. And she knows how to write her name, but learning to write her words. And then um, I'm going to do math with her and then it'll be a rotation of science and history just to kind of see how she does. I don't want to overwhelm her. So some of the things that I got for um, fun like science and history stuff, um, I got dinosaurs because kids love dinosaurs. Again, these are from the value section. So these are like, um, I will read them to her. Eventually, the goal is to get her to read them herself. So I got a dinosaurs one, a solar system one, big cats, so like tigers and lions, and puppies. And then I got some workbooks, um, which I do have another workbook as well. Um, that's dry erase. That's underneath the, um, it's like in my shelf in my dining room. But I got a math one. I have an addition, United States, and phonics. So everything that they had in that little area I got. Uh, these are all like um, grade one, but um, I got her, the math concepts I got is for, um, for pre-K and kindergarten. The reason why I moved these up to grade one is because she has a pre-K kindergarten um, like alphabet, um, like in whatever book down there. So just something that I can kind of expose her to a little bit more. I also picked up these dry erase pockets from the value section at Target. Um, that way I can stick, I'm going to have Mike print off some worksheets and things like that. Um, and in the book that I'm getting, there is a bunch of tarot worksheets and I'm just going to stick those in here. And then I picked up those dry erase markers so that she can work on them over and over again. And I picked up two of those. I also got her a letter tracing, um, like there's like several workbooks in here, but letter tracing workbooks so that she can practice her letters. Um, they had these cute little Cat and Jack reusable face masks at Target now. So I picked up a two pack of those for her and I'm going to have a clean and dirty mask bin so that we can rotate those out. Um, because in Minnesota here, they did just recently mandate masks everywhere publicly. So I'm um, just gonna kind of include that in our daily routine of a dirty and clean mask. Um, and then I picked up a paint and marker pad as well as a drawing book and a couple of notebooks for Kaya. And this is what she will be practicing her math and some of her um, writing on. So going to practice mostly on writing her numbers and her letters, really get that under control. And then we'll start kind of working on drawing out um, our math problems and things like that. And I got her one more notebook just because this was super fun. And Kaya, so our the way I have the curriculum set up, Kaya is going to have her own binder with a folder for each subject. So I just picked up some really fun folders for her that I thought she would love. She loves kitties, she loves mermaids. So I got her, like I said, three of these. All of these have um, holes as well, so I can put them all inside of, this will just be her homeschool binder and it'll keep everything nice and organized. So one for each subject, she'll have one for English and phonics and like, alphabets or alphabet and like practicing letters things like that and then we'll have one for math and we'll have one for history and science and then i have a binder for myself and i got this one from target as well this was like 750 it was so cute um it's like a suede like mustard color um and then i picked up three folders for myself for subjects as well so that i can keep like the mommy or like the teacher, the homeschooling side, like the documents on my side for those subjects I'll keep in here. So I picked up one for the English phonics and alphabet, etc. I've got one for the history and science rotation and then one for math. And I will keep those inside of my binder. This will likely turn into like my, I'm probably going to end up stealing one of these notebooks and keeping some notes in here as well um and it'll turn into kind of my everything binder i tend to do that where i try to separate things out but this might become like my my work binder as well as my homeschool binder um anyways so 
that is everything you guys that is what i got for my homeschool and clothing and grocery haul i know it was quite a bit i haven't been to target in so long so i was really just like i needed to get so many random things oh forgot to show you the um southwest chipotle salt free stuff i got seasoning stuff and um mike's deodorant that he uses which is the sea salt and cedar native it smells really good anywho so as you can see all the random things i hope you enjoyed this random big haul if you guys are homeschooling leave it down in the comments below where as of right now we're doing a combination of homeschooling and going to preschool at um, our home daycare that we bring kaya to um just because right now i don't i don't know i don't know how i feel about everything and i don't necessarily know if i can have kaya home with me all the time when i'm working etc but we will see leave it in the comments below of what you guys are doing this fall I'm going to eat my pho that's been sitting here for the past 15 minutes waiting for me to eat it and it looks so good okay guys so just real quick i got a super cute mask haul in um these are the ones that have like a spot for like those carbon filters so i do have some filters on the way um but these ones i so i got four of them from steve madden um, I'll have these linked down below for you guys. Um, I got them for like $14.95 each and like 20% off. But they're super cute. This is one of my favorite ones. I love the tie-dye. I feel like these are like kids ones. They're so small. But it covers my face all the way. And then I got a leopard one. Super cute. Got a camel one, super cute. Python, I think this is my other favorite one. And I got the kids a couple of the Cat and Jack ones too, which fit my face by the way. So I have all of our masks in this little like basket in my plant. I don't wanna keep it in this basket, I'm actually gonna change it. Um, I want it to fit in the cubbies downstairs Sorry, the lighting is so bad. It's like the worst time of day for me to record because the sun comes like right through the window. But um, I want like a clean basket and a dirty basket so that I can just take that dirty basket once a week, dump it out, wash it, and then put the clean ones back in. So I just like want something cute where I can label it. Um, so anyways, I'm trying to find something that's going to fit in my cubbies downstairs or find some kind of like organizational system. I don't know, I just need a better way of organizing these and I needed more of them. That was my big thing is, I was using the same one over and over again. You guys have seen me wear this one a million times. This is like one of my main ones that I have. Um, and this one is my other main one that I wear a lot. It has like cactuses on it. My sister-in-law made it for me. Um, my sister-in-law also made us this one. It's like a superhero one. I don't really wear this one. It's supposed to be from Mike but Mike didn't want to wear superheroes on his face. He's such a stinker. Um, he prefers just like the black ones or just like those blue reusable <laughs> ones. But anyway, um, and then I've got a couple of kids ones. I've got a Thomas the Train, I've got a Frozen one. I also have an adult sized one in this like same Frozen print so Kaya and I can match and that's like upstairs in my laundry closet. But anyway, I just wanted like options. So I think I'm gonna get a whole bunch of black ones too because these fit me really well. Um, but my, this is what Mike would prefer to wear, just like plain black ones. Um, these I think are just like, yeah, these are just like two layer ones and then have like, I think there's a place for those carbon filters in there too, I'm not sure, yeah. So anyway, like I said, masks were just recently mandated here in Minnesota so I have to make sure that we have masks for going in and out of the house. We don't really go into public all too often. Um, so, but anyway, they're there if we need them. So, I will leave. Oh, that lighting is so bad. Again, I will leave everything linked down below in the order that I talk about it today. It is a lot of product coming at you. A lot of things like in my haul, like what I've been shopping for this week. Like I think that's what I'm gonna name this video or that I'm gonna call this video because I've just been shopping. I've been catching up on some shopping that I've been putting off for a long time. So here we are. That's what I got in my little haul today. I'm munching on a little like meat and cheese tray. I've got like reduced fat wheat thins, like all of those things that I was just showing you that were like some of my go-to snacks. Caught it up here. 
like I said, I think it's like a point or two for like a whole bunch of like that light baby bell cheese. Like one round is one point and one wedge of that laughing cow cheese is one point. Um, and then the reduced fat wheat thins, I think like 12 of them are like one point. It's just crazy like low points for a snack like that. And then I did do a little bit of like a dry Ital Itali Italian, <laughs> Italian, um, I was gonna say sausage. What is it called? Salami, that's what it's called. Anyway, so I'm having that, having a little bit of a smoothie. I've just kind of been snacking today. I had pho for lunch and then I've literally just been like trying to eat healthier snacks throughout the day. I'm still really tired from the weekend, guys. I'm struggling today. So, so I've got three videos to upload for you guys this week and I've been trying to do like three vid videos during the week and then my Sunday videos. So I think what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to do kind of similar to last week where I uploaded Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I think I'm going to do, do Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, I've got for Friday this week, I have that fall decor video coming for you guys. Um, you're seeing today's video obviously and then I'm going to have um, I think either a vlog or um, something along those lines because Sunday I'm going to have a and like the ultimate Weight Watchers what I eat in a day I was planning on doing that earlier this week but the editing is taking me so long because I have to like go through and figure out how many points were in each and every single meal for like a ton of meals so it's a bunch of like dinners and lunches I don't know if I threw a whole ton of breakfasts in there but so many Weight Watchers meal ideas, anti-inflammatory meal ideas, gluten-free and like low carbs, so many really good meal ideas in there. So stay tuned for that video coming for you guys on, I'm hoping Sunday. I like to typically do a cleaning video on Sunday, so I don't know, I might change my mind, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'll upload that video for you guys on Thursday. And then Friday will be the fall decor haul and Sunday will be a clean with me. Hmm, I can't decide. Leave it in the comments below. What order would you like to see those videos in for the week? Because I just have so many good things and I don't know what days to put them out for you. What days do you guys normally watch my videos and what times? Do you like the Sunday morning cleaning videos to get your week started and motivate you? What do you guys like to see? Let me know in the comments below. All right, I'm gonna scoot. I'm gonna eat the rest uh, or I'm not gonna... <laughs> I am not going to have a snack because my sister ate it all. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow for another really fun video, okay? <laughs>